A lot of people would say, I love myself. Do you really love yourself? Are the things that you're doing, the people that you're hanging out with and the places and the circles that you're traveling in, does that reflect a person that actually loves himself? If you love yourself, why would you fuck with those type of people? You know what they're saying about you behind your back. You know that they don't like you. And because you're so desperate to have people around you, you continue to go back. I'm not preaching separatism. I don't want a bunch of people to just be alone. I'm saying you are old enough and mature enough to understand the difference in good people and bad people. You want to begin to get all the toxic people out of your life. Toxic relationships are relationships with people that always criticize you. All they can do is just exploit your weaknesses. All they can do is remind you of the mistakes that you've made in the past. Toxic people can run your blood pressure up. I know people whose lives have been ruined because somebody wasn't good for them. You cannot expect yourself to feel good about your day when you're including negative and dysfunctional people in your day. You run around with losers, you will end up a loser. Unconsciously. Unconsciously, you will pick up their ways, you'll pick up their habits, you'll pick up, most importantly, their attitude about life. If you're around cynical, negative people all the time, you will become cynical and negative. So you got to watch yourself. Many of us are living out the lives of other people, living out their conclusions, living out of their consciousness. Align yourself with people that can encourage you, people that can empower you, people that you can learn from people that you can grow from. That's very important. See, if you have people around you that can contribute to your growth, see, it's easy to be on the bottom. It doesn't take any effort to be a loser. It doesn't take any motivation, any drive in order to stay down there on a low level. But it calls on everything in you, ladies and gentlemen. You have to harness your will to say, I'm going to challenge myself. Sometimes I have to pull myself out of bed and say, come on, Les. Things I know I should do, I don't do. Things I shouldn't do, I do. You don't wake up in the morning and negativity, dysfunction, problems, and issues just randomly pop up. Because these are the type of people you've decided to include in your day-to-day -day life. So you got to look at the people in your life and find out what kind of person are you becoming because of that relationship. My mother used to say, you run around with losers, you will end up a loser. God put people in your life for a reason. Others are there for a season. And it's very important that you recognize when people's seasons are over. Make a list of who you communicate with most and ask yourself the question, what kind of person am I becoming because of this relationship? Some people just don't really make sense for your life and the new season, the mind and the space that you're in. So if you had drugged that person, those family members, those situations into the new season of your life, your life wouldn't be going as well as it's going right now. My mother being a Sunday school teacher, teaching me about prayer and God, that was really helpful to me, you know. I mean, if you really want to be successful, you got to have a lot of dog in you. You got to be mean sometimes because life ain't fair. Life is hard, man. It is not fair. Like you have happened to you that just, you go, man, why this happened? Because life ain't fair. But life ain't fair to nobody. You just got to fight through, man. You got to you gotta bite back sometimes. It's like haters. When you get haters, you know, people's opinion of you is none of your business. I have lots of haters. They on the internet all the time. But who are they, though? So I don't, I don't give them no energy. I give haters no energy. Steve ain't this. He think he this. You don't even know me. So I just, I just keep going through. And, but then I tell you something too. Haters motivate me. Cause when they talking about me, that means I'm doing something. If you have no haters, if you don't have any haters, you ain't doing nothing, man. Sometimes God will let us go through seasons 
where we're not getting what we expect from people. To teach us to not rely on another person, but to get our encouragement, our worth from him. Like a mother weans a baby off a bottle so the child can grow up, God is going to wean you off having to have people's compliments. Doesn't mean it's never going to happen. It means you're going to get to a place where you're not dependent on them complimenting you and keeping you encouraged. It's nice to hear, but you've developed this self-sufficiency because the higher God takes you, there will be more disapproval, more opposition, more critics. If you're basing your work on how people are treating you, you're trying to keep all of them happy, you'll never become everything God created you to be. Quit trying to please people. You are not going to stand before people and give an account. You're going to stand before God. He's going to ask, did you fulfill my purpose for your life? The less you depend on people, the stronger your spiritual muscles are going to become and the higher you're going to go. God is going to give you victories where the odds were totally against you. You could overcome that obstacle if you had the strongest players. God is saying, don't worry about it. You don't have to have all those people. You and God are a majority. If you'll quit depending on people, the anointing will increase in your own life. You'll accomplish more with less people because of God's favor on your life. Are you discouraged because people are not giving you what they used to? It's because God's growing you up. Quit trying to get from people what only God can give. If you'll start passing these tests, not relying on people, You'll not only live more confident, more secure, you're going to overcome obstacles that looked insurmountable and reach the fullness of your destiny. The fact that you're still alive and still on this earth, even though it's been challenging and rough, God has a plan. God is going to reveal to you why all of these issues, challenges, and problems continue to show up and what you were supposed to learn from it. You will grow through what you go through. 